a Singaporean businessman, has been called out by Malaysia's anti-graph agency in a widening probe into dealings involving former Malaysian finance minister Daim Zainuddin, as skepticism lingers over whether the government's crackdown is well-founded or politically motivated. The Mac Malaysian Anti-Corruption Commission confirms that a Singaporean businessman and property developer has been called to assist in the ongoing investigation of a high-profile individual in Malaysia. Datuk Zamri Zainal Abidim, director of Mac's Anti-Money Laundering Division, told The Straits Times, when asked about reports of Datuk Seri Obar Khan being called up as part of investigations. The businessman has also been ordered to declare his assets and the financial holdings of his family. I can confirm that more people are expected to be called for questioning in the near future in relation to this investigation. He said. While he did not reveal the identity of the person called up, ST sources confirmed that Mr. Khan, who is executive chairman of Kuala Lumpur-based BRDB Developments, is being investigated by MEC. The probe involving Mr. Khan was first reported by CNA. BRDB Developments, a property company, declined to comment on the matter when contacted by ST on March 15. Mr. Khan, 83, was previously known to be involved in the luxury fashion and goods industry. BRDB Developments developed the prominent Bangsa Shopping Centre, as well as several residential and commercial developments in Kuala Lumpur and Johor's Iskanda, Malaysia. Its website says it also has developments in the United Kingdom, Australia and Pakistan. Mr. Khan is the latest business personality called up in the Max Whitening dragnet since Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim came to power in November 2022. The probe into Daim began in May 2023. The Antigraph Agency said it launched its investigations into the former finance minister based on information from the Pandora Papers. The documents leaked in October 2021 purportedly incriminated hundreds of global politicians and wealthy elite for tax avoidance and corruption. The Malaysian authorities, on December 18, 2023, seized the multi-million dollar Ilham Tower in KL, owned by Dime's family, as part of the probe. He was charged on January 29 with failing to declare his assets under the country's anti-corruption laws. While his wife was also handed the same charge on January 23. Separate investigations involved two sons of former Premier Mohatta Mohamed. While Datuk Seri Anwar said the probes showcase his corruption battle against prominent people. Critics have questioned whether the cases which took place more than two decades ago, involve a personal vendetta. Daim is an ally of Tan Dr. Mohata, and they have been critical of the Anwar administration. Critics have also noted how allies in Mr. Anwar's ruling coalition, such as Deputy Prime Minister Sohit Hamidi, have had their corruption cases set aside, and former Premier Najib Rozak had his jail sentence reduced. Meanwhile, Mr. Anwar's government is chasing his political enemies for alleged corruption offences, such as former Premier Mohidin Yassin and his son-in-law, and opposition chief Hamza Zainuddin. Asian Studies professor James Chin from the University of Tasmania said, I think, in general, Malaysians are very happy that the day has come for the reckoning of people like Daim and other billionaires who were created during Mahita's time. But he pointed out that some may feel there is hypocrisy involved with Datuk Seri Zohit having 47 charges of graft dropped in September 2023. Political scientist Esmil Tayeb of University Saints Malaysia said Amno leaders being treated with undeserved leniency certainly puts a mark on the administration's anti-graft efforts. However, he said the MEC's actions should not be perceived as selective prosecution and vindictive politics. It's good that the administration is taking action on big, 
well-connected names, like Daim and Mahita's sons, he told ST.